There is an annual spring event in Disney Dreamlight Valley. It is very spring, very eastery, but it centers entirely around eggs. The Egg Stravagance is a spring event where you will find eggs popping up all over the valley. In 2023, the event ran from April 8th through April 29th. In 2023, Easter was on the 9th, so the event started the day before. We don't have the dates yet for 2024. We don't know yet if the event period is going to shift with the Easter date. In 2024, Easter is on March 31st, so it's possible we could see this event starting March 30th. We could see them shifting the entire event to a different time period altogether to have it occur earlier before Easter, or we could see it sticking to an April timeline unrelated to the Easter holiday. We have several parts of the event that we know for sure will be returning. That's because these are Dreamlight Village tasks, and every event so far that has had tasks like these has returned. Now, we do have some other components that I think it may have been a little bit more experimental. We'll talk about those too, just in case they return. And I think we could see some changes in the balancing and in the timing, like I mentioned. But these are the things that you really want to pay attention to. So everything in the extravaganza centers around these eggs. There are three different kinds of eggs in the game. Two of them are going to spawn wildly, and one of them requires a bit more work. So the first kind of egg, the one that I think was most abundant for us, was the excellent fruit. These you'll be able to find on berry bushes that'll pop up around your valley. It is okay to move the berry bushes once they do spawn. You may find them in different biomes. I moved mine to outside my house so I'd always remember to pick them and I had so many of these by the end of the event and these are going to show up as pink eggs in your inventory. The next kind that spawn wildly are the wild spring eggs. These are blue eggs. These for me were really difficult to get at the end of the event. I had so few. I would have rows and rows of the pink ones and I would have like barely a stack of these. So the wild spring eggs, these blue eggs, I really do hope that they up the spawn rate on these. These will spawn randomly in your valley, not very many at a time. And do you know this game? It will spawn them anywhere it can find a tile. So they can end up being really difficult to see. They are pretty small and if you have a very decorated valley, these could be especially difficult to find. You may want to go into decorating mode to try to find them that way. And these had a single digit spawn rate that took forever to refresh. So I'm hoping that that gets better this year. These are the blue eggs. So anytime you see one of those blue eggs, pick it up because they are not going to be super plentiful. Now the third type of egg, you have to grow from vague seeds. And in order to get those seeds, you're going to have to craft them. You're going to need one of each of the other types of eggs and some dream light in order to make these seeds. And these seeds are key to some of the best rewards in this event. After you craft the seeds, you have to plant them and water them, and then you can harvest them just like any of the other crops. I used a potion on my watering can and it worked just fine so I could instantly grow some of these. Be sure to bring a farming buddy with you to make the most of this harvest when you go to harvest them. And this is where you're going to get those yellow eggs. If you're not using a potion, it takes 30 minutes and two waterings for them to grow and be ready to harvest. We have a Dreamlight duty related specifically to these eggs. And this Dreamlight duty is that's not where eggs come from. This is a multi-stage duty and you're going to want to do all of them. In order to complete this task, you're going to need to make those vegetable seeds, plant them, water them, and have them ready to harvest. For the first rounds of this duty, you need to harvest 10 of them and the extra drops from your buddy villagers don't count. They are useful for other things. After you harvest 10, return to that Dreamlight Village task and collect it, and you'll be rewarded with spring chocolate. This is a food item. Then we're going to need to harvest 20 more. Again, remember those extra drops don't count. So now that you've harvested 20 more, you've harvested 30 altogether, you'll be able to claim the next level reward for harvesting 30, and that next reward is the blue spring rabbit. This is a bright blue bunny companion that can follow you around. For the next round, you're going to have to harvest 30 more eggs. Once you do, you'll be up to 60, be able to claim that next level of the reward, and you'll be rewarded with the pink spring rabbit. This is a bright pink bunny companion. After that, you need to harvest 
40 more eggs. Once you harvest 40 more, you'll be at 100 eggs total, and you'll be able to claim the yellow spring rabbit. This is a bright yellow bunny companion. So now you have three new companions just from harvesting eggs. You have the pink spring rabbit, the yellow spring rabbit, and the blue spring rabbit. All three of them function the same, giving you those companion poses for photos, can follow you around as your companion, or they can hang out in one of the companion houses. These are some of the only companion rewards I've seen from doing dreamlight duties, so be sure not to miss them. Now that you have these eggs, there's even more you can do with them, because we have both crafting and cooking recipes that'll unlock once you have the eggs, and we have cooking and crafting dreamlight duties linked to these new items. These new recipes include the spring chocolate, the spring egg bowl, and the spring mimosa eggs. In order to craft spring mimosa eggs, you're gonna need one of each of the three different kinds of eggs and some basil. Another new recipe is the spring egg egg bowl, and you can make this with one of each of the new eggs, cocoa, and sugar. So maybe imagine these are chocolate eggs instead and the recipe makes a little bit more sense. This one works well as decor if you want a bowl of eggs. You can get one spring chocolate from the first level of harvesting eggs, but you can also make more. The recipe for these is just one of the yellow eggs, sugar cane, and a cocoa bean. In order to complete the spring taste test, dreamlight village task, you need to eat one of each of these three new eggs egg recipes. Once you do, you'll be rewarded with the spring tableware. It's this little place setting that matches the rest of the spring decor. You can buy more of the spring place setting from Scrooge for 5,000 coins. Once you have some of all of the eggs, new crafting recipes will be available. These include the over easy chair, the egg chair, you may have seen me glitch with other objects so it looks like you're sitting on a pumpkin or something. To make this one, you need five spring eggs, the blue ones, and five of the excellent fruit, the pink ones. You can also craft the don't put them all in one basket basket. This is just a basket full of eggs. You'll need 10 of the blue eggs, 10 of the pink eggs, and 5 of the yellow eggs, and 20 fiber. The spring bounty egg, this is actually a pretty large item. It's one of the few items that has nice springy colors. And you can craft it with 15 of each of the different kinds of eggs, and 50 stone. And then you have the sunny side up arch, this egg arch for 25 of each egg and 10 iron ingots. And finally, the spring stall, which is 10 of each kind of egg and 20 hardwood. I think the spring stall is one of the favorites, the most useful of all of these. You can put items on top of it. I think this is the one that we tend to see in use the most. For the egg exceptional decorating task, you need to place four of the crafted egg furniture anywhere in your valley. Note that only the basket, the arch, the chair, and the spring bounty will count for this task. The spring stall does not count. I'm not sure for certain if that was just a glitch the first year and that's going to count later, or if it's simply considered not egg themed enough. After you place the four items, they do not need to be different items, so if you want to just place four egg chairs, you can do that. After you place the four items, the reward for this task is the tulip lamp. I think this is one of my favorite decorating items that we've had so far. This was our first way to get light up flowers, and if you don't have the DLC, it may be your only way. And you can buy more of these from Scrooge for 10,000. There is one extravaganza task that you can do before you even have eggs, and this is Wally Loves Flowers. So this one you can actually do now. You don't have to wait until you're playing during the extravaganza. And all this is is picking up 50 flowers with Wally as your buddy. So really you could just drop a stack of 50, get Wally as your buddy and pick them all up again, and you can complete this task. And the reward for this task is the decorative tulip bouquet. And you can buy more of those from Scrooge for 15,000. The first time we had this event, we had two additional aspects, and I'm not sure if those are going to return or not. All the Dreamlight Village tasks should still be active. So we know the eggs will come back so that you can complete those. However, these parts that I'm going to talk about now, I could easily see them changing this part up this year. So as part of the egg extravaganza, they were testing out the idea of having daily and weekly quests with characters. And so with Wally, there was a new daily quest. This was blooming and blossoming. And you could talk to Wally each day during the event. He would have a task for you to craft a pretty flower basket using different flowers each day and then give it to him. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately you couldn't craft more of the flower basket to use as an item later, either to hold or to place, and the reward was just a little boost in friendship and some of the eggs. I think just five of the pink and blue and one of the yellow. I could see them bringing this back and having a way for us to hold the flower basket maybe, but I could also see them skipping this all together or changing it to something else entirely. There was also a weekly quest with Wally, and this one was bunnies on the run. So the first time you talk to Wally each week, you could initiate this quest, and you would have to chase and catch five bunnies that were running all over the plaza. I think when you got to them, you had to actually click on them to get them, but I don't completely remember. Once you caught all five bunnies, you'd return them to Wally, and similar to the daily quest, you would get a friendship boost and some eggs. I think it was 20 of the blue and the pink, and then five of the yellow. So I could see them bringing this one back but we'll have to wait and see. So hopefully this helps you with the egg extravaganza spring event in Disney Dreamlight Valley. We still don't have the official dates for when those eggs will start spawning this year, but based on what they've done in the past, this could start as early as the day before Easter, unless they shift the dates a little bit even earlier, or it could simply be sometime in April. Either way, keep an eye out for those dates and those eggs. Maybe I'll try to pin a comment below once we do know those dates, or maybe another video. But now you know the things that you can do now and the things you should be looking out to do to make sure you don't miss all of those rewards. Subscribe for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content. We do stream Dream Snaps every Wednesday on Dream Snaps Day and all the major updates. There's also a number of video guides to the various features and quests on the channel. Turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.